Hello everyone, Sarat here, and we have a new Let's Play in, as you see on screen in the title and probably a few other places, who knows, Chance of Sinar. I'm not completely sure how to pronounce Sinar, mostly because as far as I know that's not a real word, but this game is heavily influenced by the story of the Tower of Babel. And that will make a whole lot more sense as we go on. This game also came out in 2023. So yeah, I'm doing a new game. Which is strangely becoming more and more common for my channel. Huh. Anyway. Full disclosure, I have played this game before all the way through. I have 100%ed it. So I thought it would be kind of boring if I just went through and did all that by myself. So I decided to get some people who have no idea what they're in for. First, completely new to my channel. And no, not the cat that's meowing in the background. That cat has been heard many times on this channel. New to this channel is Arcane Griffin. Hello, hello. I guess I just am the cat. <laughs> the cat is howling. Hmm. The cat is deciding over here, right now, that it wants to be known. And very much not new to the channel anymore, we have Star Princess HLC. I'm probably going to be the most lost out of everybody here. And JK Lantern. I'm counting on Griffin to carry our team. <laughs> oh dear God. And as I have played this before, my role is largely going to be laughing... When they get glyphs completely wrong. And just moving the guy around so that we can get from point A to point B. And navigating the stealth sections, which is where they will get... To, which is where they will uh, have the opportunity to laugh at me back. Because I will probably flub at least a few of them. Because, yeah, they're kind of bad. This is Surratt's Revenge for uh, 13 Sentinels. Kind of. <laughs> but yeah. There is no introductory cutscene for this game or anything like that that happens before you start the game. And yeah, the only thing you've got in the game right now for sound is wind blowing. So... I bless the rains, I'm a Dracula. Yeah, I figured that. I figured that was, uh. I figured that was coming. Our, yeah. our, our person needs to work on their posture. Our person has been in a sarcophagus for a very long time. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. That didn't. Listen, if Alucard can stand up straight, so can this jerk. I think this jerk's been in the been in the sarcophagus a good deal longer. This is giving me journey vibes. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh god, why haven't we invented the escalator yet, I tells you? Why are you Scottish? I don't Also you say I... that, but hang on. <laughs> god damn it, game. Well done. Oh, so water. also, full disclosure, I, I did show Lantern and Star a little bit of this game just to see if it was something they would appreciate. And, and I was immediately like, you should get Griffin in on this. <laughs> so we do have a hint button. You can't interact with most things on screen at all. But if we hit, if I hold down the shift key, you see there's a little arrow sign there that says, hey, you can do something over here. But notice we've got what looks like a river going through. And click on an item to interact with it. We have another we have another door right here, but it's it we can't do anything with it at the time being because it is it is a shut. So let's
Uh, I've got my iPad, so I'm drawing all this. <laughs> you don't. You won't have to worry about that too much. I meant for taking notes. I mean, yeah, okay. Okay, so Th this is also how she plays Mist, and also how she played Abduction. <laughs> and just for the record, you beat Abduction in under twenty-four hours. Which yes, I played Abduction, yes, I and I don't know how you did that. Uh, a lot of coffee. <laughs> Probably that, it was grad school, so definitely a lot of coffee and maybe some alcohol. Basically, I got that for you to get you through like a some t a hard p point in grad school, and I'm like, surely this will last her at least a week. And the next day, you're like, I finished. It was great, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> okay. So when we see the glyphs, we bring up the journal, and it will mark down the glyphs we see. If we need, if we want to take a guess on what a glyph means, we click on it, and then we can type. Yeah, just whatever. So then when we hover over it, we have this is here. So then when you go over here, this is here dot dot dot. So it, so whatever notes yeah. you put in the journal will pop up here. Well, that's really nifty. Mm -hmm. So we've got three symbols next to a uh, funky little sign here. So, obviously this is here is not going to be a correct answer. So based on what you see, let me know when you want to make a note about a glyph, if you actually want to enter something in, or... Well, I think, logically, we should pull the lever trunk. <laughs> because if it does what I think it does, yes. Mm. Okay, so, so based on this, that. would you yeah. like to make any notes? Let's look so. at the sign again. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. like, my first guess would be a closed door and then open door. I absolutely agree. Okay, which is close, open, and door. I feel like the upside down T thing is something like switch or lever. And then um, that upper symbol is open. Open. That one there that you're typing in is open. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this is the one you said was lever? Yeah. It's either lever or door. Yeah. Perhaps, but it depends. I don't know how particular the uh, thesaurus is on this game. Well, <laughs> we'll see, we will see that in a minute because what we're doing here is just notes for us. Mm. Mm, that okay. what you type in here doesn't matter in terms of gameplay. And what did you want to put in this last one? Blues. So now we can see that this says, now the sign reads open lever, close lever. Okay, maybe the second symbol is door. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I was thinking, like, oh, that... Or like, yeah. And so far, this, so far we have nothing to go on except that little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Context clues, just like Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. So now in this little section, we are kind of stuck on this little outcrop here. I assume we can't swim. No, we cannot enter water. That's what being in a coffin for so long will do. Yeah. Because we're a Dracula, we can't cross moving water. Yeah. But we can interact with all these and this. Interacting with these will just...
That's all that does. Water. Mm. Open, open, close, open, close, open. Well, I think that feels pretty straightforward. Yeah. So, I take it you you want me to line up the switches in, in accordance with the sign here? Yes. Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Open, Black. open, close. Oh, come on. Open, close, open. And ta -da! You get the musical stinger saying, yes, you have solved a puzzle. Water go down the hole. Water go down the hole. And now that this is done, once we get to certain points in the game, we get these screens. And what you can do is you have get you have your glyphs here and you drag them onto the various you drag them into the little dotted circles next to whatever they actually represent. This is also part of it, trying to figure out which which symbol is which. So give me just one second. I'm going to let the uh, I'm going to let the cat out, and you guys can discuss this one. Even though it's you, you should be able to figure this one out fairly easily. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the bottom left one is the open. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Open. Oh, there's some tiny skinny keys. They are very tiny skinny keys. I can't imagine how they'd work that well. They're more like. Toothpicks. I don't know. They might I just be lockpicks. Lock but I think they have a little maybe. So you Oops. said the bottom left you want it open. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the top left close, and then obviously the door is the door. <laughs> now I will say this: you won't always have all the glyphs when they open up a new page. Makes sense. But when you complete the entire two pages, it will. Confirm. solidify them and whatever they actually are is what will pop into place in this case yeah. yes they were literally open close and door but uh, if that yeah. had actually been gate it would call it a gate and now whenever we see those glyphs in speech whenever we get a translation it will just automatically translate them for us A door that is just painted onto the wall there. Just like Silent Hill. Yeah, for all that the good damn, it does us. That damned Roadrunner is at it again. For all the good it does us, it might as well just be painted on there. Oh, another person. Hi. And we have absolutely no knowledge of what these actually are. Phone a friend. <laughs> the first one I'm assuming is a greeting. Mm -hmm. Especially given that it looks like he is, or the, the figure is, is like kind of. It looked like he was like bowing at us a little bit, maybe, mm. when he did it. And then yeah. we have three yeah. symbols here, which, yep, I understand this perfectly. Here's a question. Yeah. Should we assume, Can we, is it safe to assume that given that all of these glyphs are in the same like grouping, that this language is the same language as that's on the door? It is safe to assume that, yes. If it, if it puts the glyphs down in one section, that means it's all the same language. Okay, cool. So it's, we're looking at words. There are... Uh, you, we can't see it right now because we don't have access to that much of the book, but there will be new sections of the book for each language. Okay, cool. Just that, it's always helpful to remember that like words, we're looking at whole words for each glyph as opposed to like letters. 
Just wait till they get abstract. Well, for now, anyway. So you guess greeting, but we have no hint on what the other three glyphs mean. I feel like a gut reaction would be like, a, oh, you are awake or something. Mm. Or you are... Oh, I see something about the door again. Mm. Or open the door. You open door. You open so door? you think that might be you? Mm -hmm. This little symbol right here. Are we able to see what he said, or I'm just assuming gender now at this point? Uh, if we go, if we advance and then come back, we okay. can replay the scenes that we get. Cool. But right now we're kind of stuck with just seeing this one. Hmm. So if we guess you open door, well, we look around. We have exactly one thing to interact with around here. Yep. Mm hmm And even though that's more of a sluice gate than a door, the meaning still gets across. <laughs> sluice. What, one of those words that I've mostly seen written and very rarely hear said. Like Mamorpaga. And then ORPG. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we can put it down. I me, me open door. <laughs> we can, can only count to four. I mean, do you want I? Or, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I and me both kind of mean the same thing. Yeah. Me might look better in terms of reading it, but that, that whatever. <laughs> I, you. <laughs> Me, Captain Caveman. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. Again, I am so glad I introduced you to that. <laughs> uh, my my boss has to put up with me singing that randomly. And particularly during the end of shifts. Hmm. So you and then something. Something. Yeah. I'm assuming it's like either you cross or follow or yeah. yeah. But now we can put something in there. Just because, hey, this is what this glyph meant to us at some point in time. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's so nice having like a notification now, system in the game. We have Ooh. finished. Okay, and we've also got oh. we've also got a new page opened up. Now that we've gotten that far, that wasn't what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was go all the way back because you see how we have the die twenties laid out across the stage. Now we've now completed we the next. screen. You help, you help I. You help me, you come with, something like that. But help is probably more likely. Okay. Mm. So we have here. guesses for all of our things here, and we have a new page. That's I our greeting to... on the left. Think this is a greeting? Yep. And then... and then the top one is you, and the bottom is me. Yeah. Or I. First person singular pronoun, second yeah. Second person singular pronoun. So yes, yeah, that is and greetings. Even the glyph, the glyph even kind of uh, flex that. Yep. Mm. So greetings, you and me. So now that we've solved, we can't. We still can't do that one, but we can do this one, 
where instead uh -huh. of just being greetings, he's more like, Hello! And that cool. actually translates to, you open the door. You get on the floor. But there is no dinosaur. Damn it! And then he said, I'll open the door. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, while he's moving, I can't actually... Even though it's a flashback, I still can't move my character around. You know, it's like that moment when you see somebody having a flashback in a story and... You know, you're assuming they're just standing there looking off into nothingness. Yep. And then he said, you cross. Well, presumably said that. Uh -huh. oh, there he is. And once again, you open the door. Unfortunately, we're kind of stranded for a second. <laughs> okay. Until we, it says you close the door. And yes, I know this seems kind of simple now. Give it some time. Yeah, I was about to say, this is going to get a whole lot worse. This is just the tutorial. So to speak. Hmm. I also hope this isn't the sewer system because it's going to be very confusing for people trying to take a bath. So, you help me. Assumed. They just really do not want us to come out of that coffin. Now, see, the thing is, notice he's still he's still kind of stuck there. Yeah. So the thing is, we've got to get this water level down for him. Which means we interact with a whole bunch of sluice gates here. Gotta get your cardio in. Getting the steps in. Which means we have to backtrack a couple times. This happened at my job last week. Just because we kept running out of things. It's like, oh god, I have to run to the basement again. <laughs> I was gonna say, when was the burka coming in? It's still kind of a slow-paced burka. Mm -hmm. Now we got all that. We got the input gate closed off there. I feel like I'm programming again. Engineering jokes, everyone. The inflow and then the outflow. Who designed your plumbing? They suck. The same people who designed Cusco's castle. Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> to open the sluice gates. Their hat. Their hat's hmm. fantastic. Hmm. Hi. Oh, oh. goodbye. <laughs> and it's kind of like aloha. Oh, yeah. Is this the part where we get to choose a Popliel, a Rowlet, or a Litten? No! Damn it. Oh, 